Today you'll be joining us for discussion on things that turned out to be awesome and more needed than we knew. Hi, my name's Micah, and this is my wife Grace and our two kids, Gabriel and Alana. We saw them growing up fast and wanted to see the world while they were still with us. So we fixed up a 37-foot aluminum catamaran, have been living on it for almost two years now. We've added Cypher to our family since we started. We've been exploring the oceans and reefs of the Florida Keys, but are getting ready to explore more of the Caribbean. Join us as we share more of our adventures with you. The first thing is waterproof bags. They are so useful. They are useful for just to ride in the dinghy to make sure if there's splashing and stuff, it keeps it dry, and if it's raining, or pretty much, and it's like nice and big, so you can just stuff all your stuff in it. So the kind of waterproof bags that we ended up deciding was necessary is, it's like 30 gallon, we got like the 30 gallon bags. It's kind of like a stuff sack. Um, we've tried other kinds of waterproof bags and they weren't as thick. This is, feels like kind of a thick rubbery tarp. The ones that aren't as thick have caused some casualties. A phone of mine died once because I had it in this waterproof bag and got a hole in it. Um, not this kind, the thinner waterproof bags. So if you were looking on Amazon, you'd see both. and. I highly recommend this kind. So it has, you do put anything that you want to put in here. Like for example, when I, if I was going to shore or something and I needed like a change of clothes, electronics, whatever. Um, you, and then in order to keep it waterproof, you just roll it three times and clip it together. There's a little handle here for carrying. And you can get these with one or two loops. I kind of like the two as an option, so you can have it as a backpack or just over the side. Usually I just have it on one side. But um, this specific one has some other attachment spots here. But an other cool factor about these waterproof bags is if you fill them like part way and then with not super heavy stuff and then fill the rest with air it will it will be more likely to float it does float some it does float some of the time depends how much weight for example i've brought my bicycle battery for my electric bike home in these and that's been a safe way to keep it from getting salty but i wouldn't expect it to float with that much weight i've dropped mine in a couple of times it has floated since I mostly just bring shower stuff back in the corn for sure. Yeah, so that's huge. So not only did, say you were in a, a kayak or whatever and you flipped and your bag's floating so you're not looking for all your essentials, but... And everything stays dry. We didn't think that we would need these so much because like in your car, you don't need waterproof stuff, but your dinghy's your new car, and every time you go in, you never know if you're gonna get splashed because of waves, because of wake, it might start raining. You just never know. There might be just dew on the seats, which is unwantedly getting things wet. So we use these, uh, we bring one to four of these every time we go out. It's kind of our new backpack or pocketbook or whatever, everything goes in this. And I mean, um, it's really versatile. We don't really use it um, for food. We, but you could. Like we throw, I guess we throw snacks in it if we go on a little day ride, but um, not so much for our, we haven't been using it so much for our groceries. The next thing is these water bottles. These are metal water Double bottles, stainless. double walled stainless water bottles. They're super nice. We didn't think we were gonna need them because we didn't think we would need them, but they're so useful because you're always carrying it around, walking around in the sun and stuff on the boat and stuff. And with those other plastic water bottles, they are 
that your water gets hot. But these stainless wall water bottles stay cool for a long time. But the one thing that's not the, the best about them is that they do get dents in the bottom if you drop them. Gabriel and me do drop them a lot. My water bottle has so many dents in the top and the bottom. Like, I got a dent in it the first day I had it. But, like, if we're in the sun all day, my water bottle, depending on what the temperature is, it'll stay cold, cold the whole time. Yeah, we, you can get the stainless water bottles in many different sizes and shapes. We specifically got this shape because it's nice and easy to hold on to. A lot of times in where we're in Florida right now, there's water fountains where you go, so you can easily refill it. But it fits in cup holders, and so it's not, like, super bulky. But... Oh, and I used to have a water bottle. Oh, no, I had a, I have, we have an Orca um, bottle and the lid has a little hole in the top. So it's supposed to, it's a similar, it's a similar thing. It's really durable and like a nice brand, but the lid is just plastic with a hole. And it's supposed to keep things cool, just like these are supposed to keep things cool for like 12 hours. But one day we went to the beach and the kids had these water bottles. And my water in my orca cup was so hot after just being at the beach for a few minutes and there stayed cold the whole entire time. So that really was a good test for us to see what works better and, and some of the, like having the lid so that it can be more properly sealed to keep it cooler. So I had mentioned earlier that we don't use our wet bed, our wet bag, waterproof bags for groceries. This is our favorite bag that we've gotten for groceries so far. It's just fun. these, all these um, reusable grocery bags. These ones have a little, because they have a cooler, like in it. The reusable bags have been invaluable, whether or not they have a cooler, because you just taking things off of your like out of a grocery cart into your bicycle and then back into the dinghy is a lot of maneuvering and the plastic bags that stuff comes in is not are not good for the environment and they also they just break on you um when we lived in new hampshire we had like one cooler bag but it wasn't that big of a deal because we'd go from the grocery store into the ac car to your house but now, even if you have a car with AC, when you get to your dinghy, you're straight in the sun. And so the cooler bag is is awesome. I also find that these cooler bag the bags with the cooler is like more is more they are more durable um, than some of the just reusable plastic bags that you would just maybe pick up in the line at the grocery store. We specifically like this shape where it has the shape on the bottom and it's the shape the same shape at the top. So it allows for more capacity and it holds its shape better so you can see it's still a rectangle on the top as opposed to the ones that kind of squish in like this as if you have uh, maybe the heavier things on the bottom and you put the bread on the top your bread isn't going to get crushed or produce isn't getting squished as much so um we've been really happy with these all these cooler bags yeah, yeah. but we did it we didn't think they were going to be as necessary we really thought it'd be just like getting, you know, regular groceries. Use your reusable bags, but it's not. But we didn't realize how much just the dinghy ride would affect the temperature of your food. <laughs> Another thing that we use a lot that we really didn't think about is a drying rack. Now you'll see a lot of people will just dry it on the lifelines and um, I think it's probably more of a me thing. Um, I do a lot of the laundry and it just seems super awkward to me to have it all around the life lines because we do have quite a bit of laundry. Um, but this is super compact. Um, there's a level here and a level that's lower. And then, um, so you can just put it out there, you know, every couple of days or whenever you do laundry and it's just all in one place. The sun really dries it well. The wind will still go through and dry them all and then you can just take them down and it's not like this big ordeal that you have laundry everywhere. Um, I'm looking for a better system that doesn't have any metal so it doesn't rust. Um, this is our second year and this is our second one um, but I still want like a laundry rack. So these, this is our 
pumper. We use it a lot for a lot of things. Just after you go swimming, it's good to rinse off your gear. Or actually, we have another one of these that we use to spray off the toilet since it uses less water. But yeah, it's just a really useful thing. It's really easy to just pump up. This one specifically has a handle clipper, which I really like on top. Um, yeah. Also, is also when you're done using, once you pull up your your dinghy, you can spray off your motor so it doesn't get all rusty or anything. And it's really easy to bring. It's not electric. You just pump it up and down and then spray it. Okay. Bonus! <laughs> this is the bonus. <laughs> this is our bonus item that Gabriel's going to tell you about. Okay, so... The this mini is dash. The, the mini dash, yeah. So this is, we call it the panini pinch or the clamshell. We use it to cook eggs and just pancakes, like most all food, chicken nuggets, chicken tenders. They're just good to be put in these wraps, little panini press wraps. Grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah. Cookies. To these are like a total success. And we got them in a good car. Yeah, they take up very limited space. They use a regular outlet and just not excessive amounts of electricity to cook what you want to cook. Yeah, but the thing is, like, like they're sort of like how you make with your waffle grills. They cannot be submerged in water, so don't put them in the wash machine or anything. Dishwasher. It's not a good idea. Since they're not supposed to be submerged, and these are only really dirty parts, it's going to get dirty. Well, it's non stick. It's pretty easy to clean. Yes. It, it's very easy to clean. Because sometimes when we cook eggs, a little bit of the bottom got like fried or something. It's on the bottom, and you can easily pretty much just peel it off. Thanks for joining us today. If you want to support the channel, then subscribe and hit the like button. Or check out our coloring book at www.floridakeyscoloring.com and on Amazon. See you next week.